Welcome to Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby. Matt's behind the camera and the cat's here. It's a rare occasion where the cat is here being all comfortable with me in front of the camera. I think she's camera shy and her English is bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I had a pretty decent week this, week this week with movies. Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. I started out with one that I held on to for a long time that I regretted that I did. It was called Free Solo. Um, it was about a guy named Alex, and he was going to climb the El Capitan cliff or mountain or something solo. This is one of those people that climbs up the side of something with no ropes or hooks or pulleys and they just got a little bag of chalk that he put on his hands and I mean I gotta admire him for his uh, tenacity I mean he tried again and again and again and he studied it every day he would he would put that little chalk on his hands and put those little shoes on and he he met this girl he fell he hurt himself he went back at it again I mean he was relentless with this thing and, and in the end he climbed it and he climbed it masterfully I must say if you follow through to the end that climb at the end it was so fast I mean he climbed up it like he wasn't even thinking about it <clears throat> it was very it was pretty cool I don't know I, I regretted I held it for like three days but it, it was a good show and then I watched Green Book. When the new movies came out on Tuesday, I was very excited to see Green Book. I knew there was some hype to it. It was really cute. The two men go on a trip, and each one of them is a different personality, and each one of them changes the other in their journey. I loved it. I loved it. And I found out what the Green Book is. It was a book that helped black people understand where places they could stay or I can't believe people treated each other this way, but this guy had to write a book so that people knew where to stay and be treated better, but it wasn't like those places were very nice at all. Um, it, it was so good, though. I really think you should watch it. I loved it from beginning to end. Um, I watched London Fields. It was very interesting. It was um, Amber Heard and her ex-husband now Johnny Depp and Billy Bob and there was another little guy in it his name was Hammer and then that other really gross English guy with the really yellow teeth but anyway it was a love triangle story <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm sorry she had premonitions of how she was gonna die she already knew how all of her friends and family were gonna die Billy Bob Thornton was a writer so he asked if he could observe the story and write the story. And uh, uh, one of the guys borrowed money from Johnny Depp. All these people were really intertwined. Um, it was pretty good. I drank a little bit, kind of lost it in the end. But Amber, Amber Heard, she was beautiful. Oh, my God. She was beautiful. Um, Mortal Engines. The cat really liked that one. I, I really found the cat to be very alert on that one. Um, these cities or towns or, or um, nationalities, nations, they, they were on wheels and they would um, chase each other down. Um, one of the, oh gosh, it's so deep. It's so much to talk about. Um, the girl is revenging her mother and then you find out how she had a lot of oh god it just it's so deep I can't I can't just put it into a few little words for you it was really good the story was good mortal engines and and just when I watch the special effects and they talk about how they did the cities and everything on wheels it, uh, it was so cool please watch it I had a friend that said it was not worth watching but I really enjoyed it are you high um, last man, uh, last man, it was the end of the world. The guy was a military veteran. Uh, he tried to encapsulate himself in something for the end of the world. And in the end, he needed to do that, come to find out. The world was just slipping away. Uh, first.
first man we watched when we reviewed was Ryan Reynolds, and he was playing Neil Armstrong. I love that movie very much. Last Man and First Man. Um, I would watch both of them. Watch of them together. Start out in the morning with First Man and go to bed with Last Man. <laughs> you won't regret first it. First and last. You won't regret it. There's no middle man, is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cut out the middle man. That's how I made my money, by cutting out the middle man. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that yet. That's probably next. Next week. Um, we watched Aquaman tonight. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. That was so good. All the special effects and the story and the people and the characters and everybody in it. It was awesome. I'm going to watch it again, maybe with my dad. I think my dad would enjoy that movie. Um, and I want to mention one more time, um, one of the previews that I saw was called On the Basis of Sex. It is the Ruth Bader Ginsburg story. I can't wait to see that. I want to see her story. You guys know I love to learn things. And then you go to Saturday Night Live and you see her do that little Ruth Bader dance. Yeah. <gasps> the verdict is in you've been Ginsburg. <laughs> You've been Ginsburg. It's so cute. I love to watch her do that. Um, Matt and I passed the time this evening with some wine. I know Matt always loves when I mention the wine. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Uh, we'll start out with this one because this was the starter of the evening. Matt came in and I poured him some of the uh, Beaujolais Nouveau. This was the 2015 Last week, I think we did the 2016. We're going through the good wines on my good wine rack. I've been holding on to it, so Yay. we enjoyed that. Yay! But one that was even better than that, people, this, this wine was astonishing. This wine was something everyone in the whole world should have a glass of. It was spicy. It was good. Um, Matt and I have been holding on to this one. It was a 2012 Chateau St. Michel. Uh, it was the red blend. I know at Costco we have, um, I think we normally keep the Merlot. But this red blend was something that I got there a while back. 2012, that's been a while, people. I've been holding on to it. It was delicious, wasn't it, Matt? Oh, yeah. It, it aged really well. Aged really well. I was just coming over well. here so I can read the label for future reference. I just here. wish I would gotten a 12-pack of that. Chateau St. Michel Indian Wells red blend. Yeah. Indian Wells. Good stuff. We want to revisit that. I'm going to keep my eye out at Costco for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and of course we had some Locos. No, we, really? We always have some oh. Locos. We went up to the 7-Eleven to see if we could find Flame, but we couldn't find Flame. So I ended up getting a couple of fruit punches. I think I opened one, but I don't know where the hell I it's left it. It's set down somewhere here in this lovely I'll apartment. find it. I'll it's, find it's it. It's around somewhere. I'll surprise, when it. you find it, it'll be like, surprise! <laughs> surprise, a drink for you. <laughs> What's up with this? Did you flash me earlier and I missed it? I, I, I was just going to just mention, it's like, happy St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> which is coming up this Sunday. Of course, by the time you see this, it might be over. It might be oh, a, I'm going to wear my repeat. green contacts to work. i got to break out my, my box of t-shirts for St. Patrick's Day. I got one that says, show me your shamrocks, but I can't wear that to no. work. That's inappropriate. Aww. I'll wear that one on What's St. Patrick's Day. What's inappropriate Day, about so. that? <laughs> I was going to bring over the uh, St. Patrick's Day donuts from Krispy Kreme, but they don't do that until Friday. This is Wednesday donuts. when we film this. So it's like it won't be ready till Friday. And it's like, ah. So, Story sorry. of my life. I know. Hey, we luck out on a lot of the holidays. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we've had a lot of holidays No complaints. Together. Can't but we can still all. celebrate them. We can still <laughs> celebrate. We can celebrate them a little later. We will. We will. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I'm glad you came by. Watch some of these great movies. I really had some good times with these movies this week. And for God's sake, find the Chateau St. Michel Red Blend. This is Please. your mission. This is your mission. Please. Your, your homework assignment. It makes the movie better. It makes dinner better. It makes everything better. My goodness. <laughs> it's a miracle drug. It's a miracle drug. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. See you then. Bye. Bye, y'all.
Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. I drank a little bit, kind of lost it in the end. <laughs> but Amber, Amber Heard, she was beautiful.